What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the shop. Hope you guys had a good day. Had to get with you guys real quick because uh, I already know I'm not going to be able to sleep till I come talk to you about this. Uh, give me a second. Let me find this. I'll find this for you real quick. find this for you real quick as per Steve okay this is from a Facebook group just posted today right after 10 o'clock somebody said I can't read this whole thing but it says majority of companies on OTC don't have a website LinkedIn page yada 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 Steve replied I see us uplisting out of the pinks maybe this year. You guys see that, right? Right there in the middle. Right there in the middle. What does that mean? What does that mean to me? It means to me Steve is confident. And uh, that's the direction he sees us heading in. And I don't think he's just talking out of his, out of his, you know what? But we're gonna need to need to see some more action. But this is great to hear from the CEO uh, in the direction that he's heading. But as far as action goes, we are seeing action. We just saw some news today uh, with the Romania deal. No, you guys, most of you guys that are real, AIT, uh, AITX Bulls, you guys know about that. Um, they purchased, I believe, two, uh, two units, uh, but it's just a test run, I believe. I believe the big orders are coming, and uh, there should be a huge announcement sometime this month. Guys, this is the future. I want, I want to also share with you something else, and this is a crazy... Um, uh, there's something actually crazy that happened. Now, uh, I was just sitting at my office, at my desk. Now, my desk, I have two computers. I have my laptop, which I use, and I have a desktop computer, which I only use for specific things, that desktop computer. All If I look up anything stock-related, it's on my laptop. It has nothing to do with my desktop. So I'm just randomly on my desktop. And a big ad pops up on AI. Big ad pops up on artificial intelligence. I'm like, is this a sign from God? What is this? Because mostly what's on my mind is AITX. So I click on the ad. It says as follows. For the past four years, Trump administration has been committed to excuse me, strengthening American leadership in artificial intelligence after recognizing the strategic importance of AI to the nation's future economy and security. The Trump administration, the first ever national AI strategy committed to doubling AI research investment established the first national AI research institutes, released the first AI regulatory guidance, forged new international AI alliances and established guidances for federal use of AI, federal use of artificial intelligence. Building up upon foundation today, the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy established National Artificial Intelligence Innovative Office, excuse me, Initiative Office, further accelerating our efforts to ensure America's leadership in this critical field for years to come. The office is charged with overseeing and implementing the United States National AI Strategy and will serve as the central hub. I want to share one more thing. There's a lot of stuff here, a lot. But I just want to share some numbers here, if I could find them.
We'll get to those numbers in a later video because there's a lot to read through here. Guys, this is a great article. Uh, go to www.whitehouse.gov to find this article. Okay, you skim through it, you'll find it there. Okay, just want to uh, share another small little paragraph. The National AI Initiative Office is established in accordance with the recently passed National Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act of 2020, demonstrating strong bipartisan support for the administration's long-standing effort. The act also codified into law and expanded the existing AI policies and initiatives at the White House and throughout the federal government. Guys, I don't think you guys understand how big this is going to be. And this company, I strongly believe, is going to be one of the top, top players in this field. Guys, I think this year we're going to see news after news. I think we're going to see a crazy short squeeze. And I think, I have to tell you guys, I think, but I strongly believe this is really the bottom that you can possibly get into this company right now. And I don't think at this time next year, the guys that didn't get in, that had a chance to right now, I think a lot of them are going to be sick. But again, don't just listen to me. This is just strictly my opinion. Please do your own homework. Don't listen to anybody on the tube do your own homework but ai whether you like it or not is the future they just passed that law in 2020 <laughs> steve told you he's trying to list on the nasdaq guys i want you to understand please do not mistake steve's Ability to communicate with you guys and be upfront about everything as Steve really trying to pump it and then run away with the money. And, uh, don't mistake that because he put out a whole article. Most of you didn't see it, but he put out a whole article of why he does it. Why he's so upfront. Why he's so available to you people. That's what he strongly believes, and that's what he encourages his team to do. He also explained that this is the new wave. This is how CEOs are conducting themselves right now. Because social media... Communicating with your shareholders. It's getting bigger and bigger. And this is what he's been believed in. So by any means, I do not take that as this guy is doing anything he can to pump this stock because a lot of other CEOs don't do it. That has nothing to do with the guys. I really believe this is what he believes in for his company. Um of what's best to do is to communicate with us and to let us know what's going on. And I don't think he's saying anything that's untrue. I think he's trying to help us and let us know. Guys, get in before it's too late. And a lot of people are taking us that, hey, let's be, believe me, I'm the first one to be skeptical of things. I'm the first one to be, I hold on. But I'm only ex telling you guys this because... I did my due diligence, and this is the conclusion that I came to about why he's doing it. Because like I said, I'm the first one to be skeptical and, and to read people and to see why they're doing this and to really um, not, not come to conclusions like that. But with Steve, I really believe that he believes in his company. And he just wants to be as, as real and as upfront as possible. So when he says that he's trying to list, uplist on the NASDAQ this year, I believe him. Whether it's going to happen this year or not, I don't know. I don't think he knows. And guys, I do put my money where my mouth is uh, about this company. This is 
One of my biggest positions. This is my biggest position right now. Probably have uh, I don't know, around 150 grand in it right now. I'm holding long and strong. Guys, do your research, not just on this company, but in artificial intelligence uh, overall. And uh, don't be the one to miss, miss the, uh, the bandwagon, miss the horse, the train, whatever the case may be, because uh, anything can happen, guys. But I'm long and strong, guys. Take care. Have a good night.